A lot of political discussion, I think, over the last 24 hours around President Jacob Zuma. Following the two splashes in the Sunday Times, part of the Zuma spy tapes that they've now published, but also claims from A.J. Suklal, a fixer, if you like, for the French arms company Thales, in which he explains the role he played in facilitating what he says were bribes for now President Jacob Zuma during the arms deal. It's all incredibly complicated. Much of this we've heard before when I covered, for example, the Shabir Sheikh trial, which led to the charges being proffered against Jacob Zuma. What we do now get, though, is a sense that more and more information is coming out around what actually happened, around the claims around President Zuma. The question is, what impact is that going to have on his position in the ANC? At the moment, it still seems that he holds very much the balance of power. The party seems to have done everything to defend him around in Kandla. There's no indication yet that that could change. The question really, though, is going into a local government election, if the ANC were to lose, say, the city of Joburg, say, the city of Chwane, and probably the Nelson Mandela Metro Bay municipality, what happens then? And that's when we might start to see the stories doing the rounds now having an impact against Zuma.